What is up? We're back to install some more of these Ecobee power extender modules. So I have the oscilloscope hooked up and you got that nice clean sine wave on a 24 volt secondary. And I hear all the clicks before I even get back in here. Of course, the cover's off, so... There you go, see all those spikes? And that's when the... And it just finished charging and opened up. So, now you just get a spike every couple seconds as it kind of maintains the charge of the capacitors, but it's less frequent. There's a spike. And every now and then the spike will cause this, the Ecobee to wig out, drop out the fan relay. Okay, I took my uh, lead to the oscilloscope off of red and moved it over to the green wire coming from the Ecobee. You see the fan is on. I have the cord over here unplugged off the takeo valve. I don't want to watch. I'm going to plug in the takeo valve. You should see that the Ecobee starts toggling off the output erratically as the takeo valve is charging up. See it? Get more than just a spike, you're actually seeing the output come and go. Okay, there's a default wiring. Okay, the yellow. I'm gonna move the yellow down to PEK. The green over to common. The assumption is you don't have a common wire. And now your wiring looks like that. Disconnect the commons. Common that went to the thermostat, which was this one, it's going to get disregarded. So, four wires. This is Usually you can use this power extender kit, the PEK, just because it's assumed that you're, you you bought this Ecobee and you only have four wires. That's the whole purpose of it. But for some reason we're using it because it stops the glitches. So yellow is going to go in there, which is actually the split 24 volts. Take a valve. Those are going to go into the common of the unit. There's the common. Red right here. Going to the power extender kit. Green power extender kit. And then you got your yellow, which is not going to go with here. And then W is actually our O. We're just, you know, we're not a furnace, we're a heat pump. Now, yellow would go here, but yellow is going to go to this wire, which is going to go to power the takeo. It's going to connect to the wire nut. Goes to power the takeo, goes through the takeo's in switch, comes back right here. And we've got our 24 volts. Got to wait for this thing to boot back up. Settings. Installation equipment. I'm going to reconfigure it. Because they also want us to set this up as, so in here, yep, that's what we're using, PEK. So nothing's on wire green. Since both those outputs on the PEK were no humidifier, Fahrenheit, geothermal. They want us to set it for geothermal. And reverse it out with cooling and we're done. And then, crack that sucker down. As you can see when you're done, these will all be wired like that from the thermostat. Again, it assumes you only had four wires. And then... Okay, it just kicked on. Okay. Take a valve is charging up. And the noise is still there.
Now when I turn this on, I'm gonna watch the yellow wire, which is coming from PEK. You can see it's got a little bit of trace voltage or something going on there, but I guarantee you, when you flip on the system to fan only, I'm gonna see the AC power clipped. I wasn't focused, just turn the fan on. Now we should see, you can hear that the fan came on. And there we go. It looks like the positive half of the sine wave is being rectified. Y input, which is PEK, is only the positive half of your 24 volts. And then the output to the green terminal is, is turned on. And then the yellow is nothing. Go back to here. positive half. Now the thing is, okay. so let's go back to auto, and we're going to turn this temperature down. So now we should have full wave rectification. Yep, back to normal. Also going to show you all that noise is still there. This thing does not filter out the spikes from the takeo valve, the mean takeo valve up there that's charging up. Still got all the spikes, but for some reason in PEK mode, the thermostat is not cycling the green output off and on erratically, and then and then in turn the fan relay like it does in standard wiring mode. So very interesting, but that's how that works. This is just like an adder wire seen years ago.